I really mean, started noticing when I was like about 11 years old. Um, I would see home videos or like pictures from the side and I really didn't like them. The bump is kind of like when I smile, it kind of droops down and then the bump that I have right over the top. When I was in high school, um, I took a filming class and I didn't do well in it because I didn't want to be filmed um, because of my nose. This cartilage here is basically very flat and comes to a point and it mixes in with her hump. So her nose all of a sudden gets really wide and flat in the bottom half of it. So if we divide the nose into halves, her lower half completely dominates and droops. And her tip is very weak because I can just push it down and flatten her nose completely. So this flatness, I want to give it strength. So she needs her tip elevated, but not so much that we look into her nostrils. So see that? Just that elevation alone improves things. There's a huge hump here that makes her tip droop down whenever she smiles. This hooked appearance is completely going to change. We're going to have a nice tight tip. A little bit of the skin of the excess nostril is going to be removed and the hump's going to be reduced so she's going to have a very nice subtle curve to her profile. We're going to get the cartilage that's poking out and getting in the way of her airway and breathing. Take that like puzzle pieces, shape it, put it appropriately in the right places in the tip to shape the tip, to keep the tip elevated. So even when she's a grandma, that tip's not going to droop. I'm a little nervous about doing this, but I'm very confident that Dr. Gavami is going to do a great job. Today I'm just going to mark the nasal bones which are asymmetric. I'm going to move them differently so that we can get our nose nice and straight. In addition, obviously, the main part of the hump's up here. You can see how her tip is so broad here. Turn this way for me, please. Her cartilage comes all the way out here. So her tip is essentially this big, flat, kind of um, pear-shaped structure. It has no shape to it, so we're going to completely lift and shape her tip to give her a really nice contour. I'm ecstatic about the results. I mean, I couldn't be any happier. I think my nose came out perfect. I mean, I can't think of any other way that I would want it. One of the first things with Jasmine that looks amazing is this gorgeous depth she has here and this curve that looks natural. The curve is not too much, it's not too little. It goes with her face. She still looks Latina. It blends with her eyes, her cheekbones, her lips. Everything kind of looks proportionate and in harmony. Now, when she turns slightly, you can see these nice shadows and highlights that hit her tip. Her tip has a lot of good definition. What happens is a lot of times when you do a change like this, and you can see the before after comparisons, it's a pretty dramatic change. But because all the little steps I did in the surgery sum up to a total natural result, it tricks the eye. So even her own family members and friends, even those that are celoso or jealous, can't necessarily tell. I'm very pleased with the results and Dr. Gavami made my dreams come true.